thanks for checking out this guitar tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how you play a Julia Michael song called What A Time. We're going to be playing this on the electric guitar, but if you have an acoustic guitar, that's no problem at all. Um, the only reason I'm using electric is because it sounds like it's um, on an electric on the actual record, which I think it is. And also, it's easier with these cutaways here, which I'll explain in a second. Um, but you need to get past the 12th fret, so it's a little bit easier with a, a bit of a cutaway. You may have that on your acoustic guitar. If you do, then brilliant. If you don't, you may find it a little bit difficult. So we've got capo on the fifth uh, fret, and it's all standard tuning. So we're going to zoom into the guitar and have a look how we play this. Okay, so here we go. Before you do anything, make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you find this video useful, please also give it a thumbs up as we go along. If you've got any questions or comments, please use the comments box below and I'll answer them as we go along. So, well, as I said, we've got a capo on the fifth fret of the neck and this is all in standard tuning. So we're treating the capo as if it is the top of our neck. So when I say C major, I'm talking about C major position, okay? So I'll talk you through the finger positions and the fret positions as well as we go along. This is a really, really nice song to play. You can play it with your fingers. You don't need a plectrum, but for this tutorial, I'm actually using a plectrum as, uh, as a play. So, let's have a look at the first uh, sort of chord that we need. We're gonna use two of our fingers. You're gonna use finger three and two. So, you're gonna put your third finger on fret number eight, string number five. You're gonna put your second finger on fret number seven, string number four. We're not going to clip the top sixth string, we're going to leave that, we're not going to clip it at all. So that is our first chord. But what we're going to do is hammer on our second finger. So it's going to be an open fourth string to start with and then we're going to hammer it on. And it's just one pluck of the fifth string, fourth string and third string. very first chord. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to pluck my third string and my fourth string before I move to the next position. And then I'm going to use that shape again, two frets up, so one, two, three. So that is your next position. going so let's slow that down let's slow it down again pluck the uh, second string by mistake it still sounds quite nice you're going to introduce those strings as we go along anyway so and then what we're going to do is going to, we're going to move that position up to the 12 13 14 15th fret so your third finger is going to be on fret number 15 and that's why we need that cut away so fret number 15 on string number five and our second finger is going to be on fret number 14, string number 4. And then, our next chord. Our third finger is going to drop from the 14th fret, 13, 14, sorry, the 15th fret down to the 14th fret. Our first finger is going to be on the 12th fret of the 4th string. And then we're going to move that down 2 frets again. So, we have got this. you're going to 
going to play is your first finger is going to go on fret number 9, string number 4. Second finger is going to go on fret number 10, string number 5. Notice what I'm doing, I'm not actually plucking, I'm actually sliding it down. I'm letting the strings ring out. You can pluck it if you want to, but on the record, he's doing a sort of a or she's doing a slide. Sliding from you're sliding into the following chord that you're playing. So you're still letting those strings ring out, but you're plucking the last chord and moving it into the next chord. So let's try that again. And uh, you'll need to play over and over again to get it right. I was actually doing it wrong uh, halfway through again. So it doesn't really matter if you click the chord, but if you want to be authentic, you want to make sure you're doing that. You're sort of sliding into that chord. So let's play it again together. Let's slow it right down. start introducing more of those strings so very very quick tutorial if you like this please make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you've got any comments comment below i shall see you again